Hi, this is Steve Westmark. Thanks so much for watching my video blog this week. Well, spring is in the air. Baseball's coming. I'm going to give you an update on what's been going on in the real estate market since uh, through the month of February. You'll notice on this first graph that you'll see that there's been over a 34% increase in sales in the month of February compared to last year. The next graph that you're going to look at is you're going to see the makeup of where the sales have been happening and the huge amount of sales changes have been in the under $120,000 price range. The third chart I'm going to show you that's really interesting that's also been going on in our marketplace is the change in inventory. In 2010 in February we had 24,000 houses on the market. Last year we had 23,000 and this year only about 17,000. What that has done is change the amount of supply that we have on the market. So the next chart shows the supply of inventory, which two years ago we were at six months, last year at this time we were at seven, and this year we're at four and a half. People ask me, when is the real estate market bottoming? Guess what? It already did. Our inventory is down. It's down at four and a half months, and we've moved into a balanced market. And if it drops next year like it did this year, we'll be back into a full seller's market a year from now. The last two charts I'm going to show you show what is going on in the market in pricing. One, it shows that the average prices have now, in fact, started to rise. And so that you'll see that even though they dropped in 2010 to 11, we have now begun to see an, a slight rise in prices, which is showing the change in our marketplace. And the last chart I'm going to show you is the one that shows affordability of housing. Today, with today's interest rates and the prices on housing, we are at record highs for housing affordability. Make it a great day. Thanks for watching my video blog this week. And go Twins.